Okay, so this is a first year sketchbook and I'm going to show you the first few weeks of the typography project that you would be doing in the first half term. So first of all, with your collection of letter shapes and letter forms, which you are cropping to create this selection of what we would call like a monogram. And we're not interested as such in reading the words. It's more about looking at the visual qualities of the letter shapes so that you can see that some are actually really quite abstract. However, some of them you can read or recognize in your own collection. Please don't use too many logos because they're too recognizable. So that is your first task. This is a research homework. Um, it's on two typefaces. When you do your homeworks, we like you to present the work um, in a graphic design inspired way. This student was inspired by modernist uh, designs as well. So you would need to find examples of that typeface being used in the real world as well as part of that homework. Here are examples of the measured drawing from the crop letter forms that you saw on the first page. Um, which will be taught in class. So this is measured drawing in pencil, just line. And then we photocopy those and you embellish them with different types of black and white media. Here the student is using pencil and fine liner and a mixture of markers and pencil and adding some elements of pattern as well. And here are some more examples of that. So she's done eight all together. Here's a research homework on the square format in design and she focuses on modernism. Here is a homework looking at artists that use the letter form in their artwork, which is something we use to inspire our mixed media work as well. And here we have some of the mixed media experiments that the student has done. She's used a mixture of oil pastel, colour pencil, um, sellotape, um, watercolour and monoprinting techniques as well. And those have been applied and collaged together to develop the designs so that you can see a creative development of their designs. And here is an evaluation of that process and what the student has learned. As we go on, um, we start to then take our typography development onto Illustrator. And here is a selection of experiments that a student has put together to create an interesting title page. On the following pages are some research and experiments that a student has done on Illustrator and using Pinterest to gather ideas together as well. Here she's looking at a designer called Lindsay Hunter and this is her response to it. Here we're using the Pathfinder palette to explode the letters. Um, here we're looking at layering up and transparency and repeat. And here the student is developing designs for her final poster, which is an abstract typography poster that showcases the quality of that typeface. These are screenshots underneath that are annotated to explain how she's done it. And so she's got four design ideas all together. And this becomes her final design. This is further research of typefaces as well. And it's the typeface that she uses in this design. And that's the typography.